my name is Thang, uh, my name is Thang, and today I will introduce you about the Macintosh, um, especially about the uh, iMac, because that's the uh, most Macintosh device that we going to troubleshoot in the future. And uh, this, this is the uh, external features, host, and connector for the Mac. So this is uh, the front. As you can see, we can uh, we have the built-in microphones, camera indicator light, built-in eyesight camera, and uh, on the back we have internet port, mini display port. So that means we we uh, if we want to connect to the normal display or additional display. We need a display port cable converter to connect to HDMI, DVI, or even VGA. And then we have USB port, audio optical, and headphone, and firewire. This is a closer look of the port. Um, in additional, we have the Thunderbolt port, which is placed in the, uh, in the blue color. The, the Thunderbolt is a new, uh, new feature of Macintosh that um, provides user 10 GBPS of the uh, of data. So, uh, that means uh, our PCI, our PCI and uh, the display port can provide 10 GBPS, so much more faster than the normal or the classic port we have. And about the side, we have the optical drive. It can read CD and DVD, and it can burn CD. DVD R, DVD R W, or double layer DVD. The, um, the optical drive is a long slot, and uh, next to it is a small slot, which is the built-in SD card reader. You can read the standard SD, four megabyte to four gigabyte, and the SDHC, which is secure digital high capacity from 4 to 32 gigabytes. So this is what the uh, part and inside looks like. This is a motherboard or the logic board with a hit on. This is a bike. So we have uh, CPU, platform controller hub, uh, Ethernet, and memory card reader controller, audio controller, and USB controller. And then we have CPU core power application uh, controller to uh, as I believe it, uh, it used to control the uh, voltage regulator for GPU. This, this is the back. As you can see, we have the uh, Thunderbolt port IC, which indicated the black color. About the uh, graphic card, um, Apple is AMD. GPU and uh, beside the chips we have uh, SD RAM chips which is uh, memory so for this specific graphic card this can be 512 megabyte in memory 
about um, the uh, Macintosh operation system. So the name is Mac OS X Lion Snow Leopard are the uh, very popular tool that we going to have in the future. So um, the Mac OS X support 86 and 64 architecture for 86 it support uh, for, uh, for computer that use uh, Intel Core Solo and Duo, which is a uh, power PC. And uh, x64 is for Intel Core 2 Duo. No, no, no. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So uh, x86 is Intel Core Solo and Duo, it's not the uh, power PC. And uh, x64 for the uh, Intel Core 2 Duo Xeon processor, Intel Core i3, i5, i7, and upward. So um, the operation system is the unique based graphical interface operating system. It's programmed in C, C++, and Objective C. So uh, uh, it's support for the PowerPC from version 10.0 to 10.5.8, and for the Intel, it's support for 10.4.4 through 10.8. About the ar architecture, um, from the uh, beginning till now, uh, Apple have used two kind of architecture. So the first architecture is uh, open firmware or the open boot. The, um, it used for the non-X86 PCI chipset, so basically for the power PC and uh, it allows the system to load platform independent driver directly from the PCI card, improving compatibility. Have the operating system to better understand it. Host computers rely less on the user configura configuration. So, um, and then they change into extensive, extensible firmware interface or EFI. So basically for the Intel Mac, and uh, it has the ability to boot from a larger hard disk. So and uh, it's like the open firmware architecture is CPU independent architecture and CPU independent drivers. So comparing between Windows and Mac about the design extinction. We know it was built around networking. Its foundation is only highly modifiable DLLs, which is dynamic link libraries. And for Mac, it's based on Unix and Mac. Uh, Mac is an operating system, micro kernel support system research, and the Apple OS structures. About the architectural adversaries, Windows design set led to the growth of, of an OS that was full of tweaks. So, you, for example, you can overclock or, or make some change into uh, on Windows. And um, um, besides, we uh, Windows also has a drag and drop convenience and easy to install application. In the other side, Mac put a say library to install application. So and it used permission like Unix. And therefore uh, it will be no lack scale system management is needed by like Windows. And when something installed on an Apple computer the user know it, and the installation cannot happen silently like Windows. For overall, Windows is better for gaming due to the large amount of game that available for it. It's better with statistical application like Office application, SPLS, 
and uh, it's easier for the user to customize. For, uh, about the Mac, it's better overall security and less prone to attackers. So uh, Mac is also no with no viruses at the moment, and it has more for graphical and uh, multimedia function. It's for designer, music producer, and everything related to art. And it has a user friendly, very friendly. The next one is the common, the common problems we may face in the future. The first one is the list structures. The symptom is um, the, the vital system by missing or not knowing where files are on the hard disk, so it may cause the failure to boot. And uh, uh, to, uh, in order to troubleshoot, we restart the computers, pull down the Apple and S key until you see the, the black window with the text scrolling down. And, and you start typing uh, slash S B I N slash F S C K. Um, and, uh, dash. Uh, dash Y. This for the uh, the old version of O F X for the for the ten point three and later version. We there's a difference between the dash. Y, uh, the dash Y and dash F Y. So um, after we type that, we wait until the uh, we wait until the uh, system to check the hard disk, and we wait the we wait until the hard disk appear to be okay in the screen, and then we type shut down dash R now. Six. Secondly, uh, we have the uh, repair permission problems. The important file permission is corrupted, so Mac cannot access the files to accomplish certain tasks, so we start misbehaving. To troubleshoot, we launch the disk utilities, so just go on the application folder, by the utilities, or we just type uh, this utilities on the search bar on the Mac, and then we select hard disk that the Mac OS X is installed, and we select repair disk permission. And that should be back to normal. And final, uh, we have the hardware problem. So normally, it's a it's about the wrong type of memory RAM, cause the system automatically shut down. Uh, we have the other part too, which is uh, maybe overheat. And to troubleshoot, uh, or to check which part is broken or failed, we insert the Apple hardware test DVD, press and hold the D key to enter the Apple hardware test, and we select the perform extended testing. For, um, I, re I recommend we run the extended testing for several times because uh, it may take a long it may take a very long time to check until we uh, uh, to check if the uh, RAM have problems and uh, for some reason we may have to run the extended testing overnight. And this is a function called loop mode for extended testing on the Apple hardware test, so we can use it to check the RAM or the other part if it's broken. Any question?